Hello friends and happy Monday. Uh, today, May 1st, is the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. It's not very old on the church calendar, really since 1955, and it was done by the Pope in response to uh, May Day, May the 1st becoming a day for uh, communists to push the rights of workers. And the Pope said, well, wait, we as a church have uh, long spoken out about the dignity of workers, and so he, he created this feast in honor of St. Joseph, who's there in our church behind me above the image of divine mercy. Uh, Joseph worked, right? We know from the scriptures he was a carpenter, which scholars today tell us was more of a stonemason. There wasn't a whole lot of wood uh, in, in, in Nazareth or in that part of the world at all because trees don't really grow that, that, that well because of the soil. Um, but, but he worked. He, he provided for Mary. He provided for Jesus. Not just financially provided, uh, but also provided an example. Uh, friends, there's dignity in work, right? Uh, our Lord himself worked with Joseph in the carpenter shop. And so sometimes we have this attitude, especially on a Monday morning, like, oh, I gotta go to work, or, oh, I can't wait till it's Friday, or it's quitting time, right? And this idea that, that work is this horrible drudgery, and in the state of sin, perhaps it is, but Christ has redeemed it, that our work has dignity, our work has value, our, our work allows us to use the gifts God gave us and use them well for his glory, for his honor. So please have that attitude about your work. If you're blessed to be retired, give thanks today for the years of work that you had and pray for those who are working today. And may Almighty God bless you and keep you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.